This tutorial demonstrates how to create a layout that contains several maps. In this tutorial, I'm going to create a layout that shows the continental United States, Alaska, and Hawaii, and also includes some tabular data from a data view. I've already created a map that shows median household income by county, and a data view with the 10 counties with the highest and lowest income. Now I'm going to make separate maps of Alaska and Hawaii to put in the layout. So I'll choose Map, Duplicate, and use the Find tool to find Hawaii. I won't need a second legend in the layout, so I'm going to hide the legend. And I'd like to adjust the size of the map relative to the other maps in the layout, so I'm going to shrink the size of this window like this. Also, I'm going to give this map window a different name, so I'll right-click and choose Properties, change the title to Hawaii, and click OK. Now I will duplicate this map, find Alaska, and call this map window Alaska. I'm also going to change the map projection to something that works a little better with Alaska. So I'll uncheck the auto projection box and change the projection to one that works better at the polar regions. Now that my maps are ready, I can create my layout. Choose Tools, Reports, New Layout. Maptitude creates a new layout using your default printer settings. Right-click and choose Properties to make changes to the layout page and printer. In this dialog box, you can change the printer to use, change the paper size, create a layout that spans multiple sheets of paper, and change the orientation. I'll change this layout to be Landscape and click OK. Additional layout options are available when you click the Option button. Here you can choose to show rulers, turn on a grid, choose to snap items to that grid, and set the grid interval. For example, I'll turn on the rulers and the grid and set it to display at one quarter inch intervals. Now that the layout is set up, use this tool on the drawing toolbar to place a map or data view on the layout page. If the drawing toolbar is not visible, choose Edit, Drawing, Toolbar. Drag a rectangle on the page where you would like an item to be located. Then choose the item you want to place on the layout. There are some additional options here. When these first two boxes are not checked, what you will see in the map will be what you get in the layout. If the page is very big or small, then your map will be enlarged or shrunk to fit in the frame that you dragged, but it will continue to show the exact same map extent. If you choose to keep the actual point sizes, then the point symbols, line widths, and label sizes will not change. More or fewer items may be labeled depending on the map size in the layout. If you choose to keep the scale fixed, then this map, where 1 inch equals 300 miles on the screen, will continue to be 1 inch equals 300 miles on the printed page. More or less of the map may be visible depending on the map size in the layout. This final option lets you choose whether or not to keep the aspect ratio of the original map despite whatever shape you drew with the Place tool. For example, the original map is in a landscape rectangle, but I drew a more square shape with the Place tool. If I uncheck this, then the map will fill the shape that I drew. To demonstrate some of these options, I'm going to choose to print at a fixed scale and uncheck the Keep Maps Aspect Ratio box. Maptitude places the map to fill the shape I drew and keeps the scale at 1 inch equals 300 miles. If I now use the pointer tool to change the size of the map on the layout, you will see that the scale stays the same and more of the US will become visible. I'm going to delete this map by right clicking and choosing Delete. And then place it again on the layout. but change these options so that the map will be what you see is what you get, or WYSIWYG. Now Maptitude fits the entire map at the original aspect ratio within the shape I drew. Notice that now if I change the size of the map, 
everything is rescaled so that it continues to look like the map in the original map window. I'm going to use the Place tool again and add the map of Alaska and then add the map of Hawaii. And I'm going to use the Place tool one last time and add the data view. You can use the drawing tools to add a title to the map like this. Or add an image such as a logo like this. Right click on an item and choose properties to make modifications. For data views, you can choose a frame and frame style, the font, font size, and font style to use. For maps, you can choose whether to display a border or drop shadow. And for titles, you can modify the text or change the font, size, style, color, and frames. Finally, you can use the pointer tool and the alignment buttons to arrange all of the items on the page exactly as you want. For example, I'll use the pointer tool to move the data view over a little like this. And I'll click on the map and shift click on the title to select both of these items, and then click the left align button to align the map and title. Continue to arrange the items on the layout until you get it just the way you want. When you are finished, click the print button to print your layout. You can also save the layout to an image file. For example, I could create a JPEG file of this layout to insert into a Word document or a PowerPoint slide by choosing File, Export Image, choosing JPEG as the file type, and entering a file name. Now, if I bring up Word here and insert the picture, You can see the layout exactly as I created it in Maptitude. And that wraps up this tutorial on creating layouts.